Hey everyone, Into Weapons back again with you. Just wanted to do a real quick video on a pretty good deal I found on some 7.62x54R uh, ammunition online. This is coming from the sportsmansguide.com. Uh, this is a box of 500. As you can see, it's made in Russia. It's 7.62x54R full metal jacket. It is 148 grains, which is uh, specifically why I purchased this. Uh, and the most important thing, again, for me also is that it's non-corrosive here, which, uh, as you know, most uh, surplus ammunition that's made in Russia, uh, that's 7.62x54R, is generally the um, corrosive ammunition. So uh, this is a little bit nicer, being that you don't have to worry about, you know, uh, throwing Windex or whatever else down the barrel to, to neutralize that uh, those salts that are being uh, used in those corrosive ammunition. Uh, this I purchased online for a total of $168.97, which included shipping. Now, the original price for this, I believe, was um, right around $170. Uh, the shipping and handling was $17.99. And I did have a coupon, which I was able to find online, uh, which you can jump out there and just do a search for sportsmansguide.com promo code. Uh, and it gave me $20 off. When I ordered this, they actually even sent me a $10 off coupon for my next purchase of $75 or more as well. I ordered this on 1227, I believe, and it arrived on January 3rd. So they had excellent turnaround time, excellent shipping times. Uh, very impressed with that. The box was a little beat up that it was shipped in, but as you can see, the box that the actual ammunition is in uh, came out pretty well. So there isn't any uh, damage to that that I can see at all. Um, the nice thing about this is that it is 148 grain and it is non-corrosive, which is a little bit different than what you'll find at a lot of those uh, fleet farms or other types of uh, ammunition surplus stores. Uh, generally what you're going to find is that the um, it's a heavier ball, first off. It's generally going to be above 170 grains, which is fine for the Mosin Nagans if that's what you're using it for. I per personally purchased this for my PSL 54C, which is a semi-automatic um, rifle that shoots the 7.62x54R cartridge, uh, but being that it's semi-automatic and it's an AK platform, they highly recommend not using anything that's uh, heavy ball. So they want you to use this lower grain bullet, which uh, puts a little less abuse on the the rifle itself. So, um, being that it was 148 grains and non-corrosive, that was a great deal for me at, at uh, $168 delivered to my door. Uh, typically, I buy these in a box as a 20 at my local fleet farm. If I'm lucky, they're on sale for $9.99. Typically, they're priced at $10.99. I think I figured this out. It comes to about $6 a box. So I'm saving quite a bit uh, per box just buying it in bulk like this online. Uh, so let's go ahead and pop in here and check this out, guys. Using my Smith & Wesson Extreme Ops carry knife that I use as my daily carry. Let's see if we can get in here. Looks like it's folding out the front way. It's sealed up nice. As you can see, it's got a little bit of a plastic wrap around it, which kind of keeps the uh, air and moisture out of it, which is great. Comes in these boxes of 20, like I mentioned. 762 by 54 r 148 grain, non-corrosive, burden primed. Uh, it is made in Russia, obviously. It's wrapped normally like you'll find with the tins, so that's not unusual. We just bust one of these open and we'll take a look at one of the rounds. As you can see though, it looks very similar to what you would find with the uh, surplus tin ammunition. There really isn't a whole lot of difference. It's copper washed um, casings, steel casings. They're not uh, copper casings. These are non-reloadable. It is uh, burden primed. Um, it does. Ha it is non-corrosive, obviously the big one there. Uh, and you can see it's uh, it's got a pretty decent size uh, round in there, but it is only 148 grains, so uh, it's pretty reasonable for um, the size of the bullet. And that's pretty much it, guys. Uh, for 500 rounds, 168 bucks, you certainly can't go wrong. Sportsman's Guide do have them in stock right now, so you can certainly jump out there and purchase them. Uh, I would highly recommend using non-corrosive and lower grain um, bullets in your in your uh, rifles. It just does a little less damage, a little less abuse to them. So uh, if you have a PSL or a FPK Druganoff or even your Mosey Nagants, this is great ammunition to run through it. So hope this helps, guys. Uh, let me know if you have any questions. Otherwise, I appreciate you watching. Thanks.